So, you know, Larry wanted to know, like, uh, what's your favorite pie? My favorite what? Your favorite pie. My favorite pie? Pie. Pie? Yes. My favorite pie. What is your favorite pie? Oh, the cherry. Why do you like cherry? The cherries are my favorite fruit. Oh, okay. So that's why uh, everybody's got their favorite fruit, right? And cherry is your favorite. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I don't like raspberry pie or strawberry pie. Well, I've never had a raspberry pie or strawberry pie. My favorite's rhubarb. You never had a strawberry rhubarb? I've had, yes, I've had that, yeah. That's uh, pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Larry wants to know what your favorite ice cream is. Well, they don't, I can't find it anymore. Well, what would it be if you could find it? It's, uh, Reed's. Reed's? Vanilla ginger. Vanilla ginger. Wow. Yeah. Ah, oh, that sounds like an incredible combination of things. It so you had the vanilla, which is very smooth, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very soft and smooth, and then you have the tartness of the ginger, correct? The spiciness. Not, it's not yeah. tart. It's spicy. Spicy. Yeah. Okay, and it comes together. And it's like when you when you eat ginger, it, it's like real warm. Huh. So like the cold ice cream and the warm ginger is yeah. an amazing contrast. Yeah. Well, you know, I think my favorite ice cream is <sighs> Mexican Rocky Road. For real? I've never heard Which of Mexican Which is more of a vegan Road. type of ice cream. Mexican Rocky Road. Have you ever heard of Rocky Road ice cream? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, imagine that, but with chili powder. Oh, that might be So you have the spice. You have the spice. Yeah. With the chocolate and the marshmallows and whatever nuts they might put in it. Speaking of Mexican food, I really love Mexican Coke. You mean it comes in a small bottle? Yeah, the Mexican Coca-Cola. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Because of the what? Well, uh, because when they changed the formula of Coke back in the 80s, yeah. they took sugar out and put high fructose corn syrup in. Right. And as a child, I noticed the difference. It was really disgusting. And yeah. so I switched to Pepsi back then when I was a child. Yeah, okay. But um, when they revived, well, when we started getting imports of Mexican Coke up here in the United States, I noticed that it was, the ingredients label said sugar. So I'm like, oh, I wonder if this tastes like the original. And it does. Is it cane sugar? It's cane sugar. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the difference, up there. The biggest difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Yeah, yeah. What would be your, what's your favorite bird? <sighs> that's a look. that's like, why do you have to ask that, Larry? There's too many birds. Yeah, if you had a favorite bird. I've never eaten, like, No, how to eat birds. it, but your favorite bird, just to enjoy looking at. To enjoy looking at. Uh, I, I probably like, um, Hawks and rock in like the falcons, hawks and falcons. Uh -huh. What about them? It makes it so interesting for you. They're more rare. You don't see those as often. They're rare. Okay. Yeah, they're rare. So when you do see them, it's 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 a special treat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's owls cool. too. Owls. You don't really owls, see those very owls. often. Yeah, owls I love are them. fantastic. But I can't really say I have a favorite bird because I like a lot of birds. I mean, I love birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. really love birds. But there's not one particularly outside of the owl or hawk. Well, I like the blue jays too. Blue jays are... Blue jay, any kind of blue jays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you seen, ever seen a harpy eagle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are fascinating birds. I know. They're the ones with the long legs. Long legs, but also... They, they look like a hybrid between a large owl and an eagle because of the headdress. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing, amazing. And sometimes on their perch, they can even look like a, a dark angel or a demon of sorts. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't those the eagles that eat monkeys? Uh, you know, I don't know if they eat. <laughs> I don't know about that. 
There is an I wouldn't that. They're big There's enough to tackle there. a monkey, for yeah. sure. Yeah. 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 Might never a problem. Not an ape, though, but a monkey, I'm sure. Well, you That's know, feasible. I can't say that I've ever seen a harpy bird in real life. I've seen pictures of it. That's really fast. I did a painting of one. And it, it turned have out. You, have being, you been to the San Diego Zoo and seen the, um, harp, the secretary bird? No. Uh -uh. Oh, it like, it's like a harpy eagle with really long legs. Really? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's, uh, near, it's pretty close to where they have the lion. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, so, yeah. And it's called what? Secretary bird. Secretary bird? Uh-huh. Oh, why it's the secretary? I forgot why we think it's the secretary. Yeah. Huh. Maybe it has a really good typing speed. Maybe, maybe. Maybe it's good at dictation. Yeah, it must be. So, anyway, yeah. So, let me ask you this. What, uh, what would you say your favorite film is? Oh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. What about that? It's so important to you or it's so special? Um, it's a profound love story. Yeah. It, it's sci-fi, um, goofy with hijinks kind of stuff, but, um, and it has a little bit of that Monty Python-esque oh, flair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, it's a lot of ridiculousness, and the, it's from the books, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and the, um, the, the whole series, hmm. but it's just the first story in the series. But uh, I like the names of the characters, I like to say the names of the characters. Uh, the story is really fun, and you don't really know it's a love story until the end, kind of. Wow, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. What was the very first movie you ever saw? That's a good question. I don't really I know. I remember mine. Um, I would say the first movie I saw in the movie theater that I can remember uh -huh. was Cinderella. Oh, wow. Disney. Yeah, it was a Disney movie. I was probably like wow. three or four. Yeah. Mine was I folks took me to see Gregory Peck and Robert Mitchum in Cape Fear. Oh, wow, that's a serious movie for a kid. It was horrifying, and I started crying halfway through the movie. Oh. And they made me sit in the lobby until it was over with. Well, I'm going to tell you, that sucks. For <laughs> real. My parents made me sit in the car one time because I was throwing a fit at a restaurant, and they said, you have to go sit in the car. Yeah. But uh, what, I will tell you that the most traumatic movie I saw when I was a little child okay. was Tommy. What? Tommy. Oh, The Who. The Who movie. That was traumatic? That was so traumatic. Why? Well, think about how fucking weird that movie is. It's pretty weird. And, and you took this little four-year-old kid to the movie. Everything was oh, scary. Oh, wow. I forget. You know, yeah, yeah. I was a pretty much an adult at that stage. See, like you're older than I am. Yeah. So, like, when I saw Tommy, I was probably four. Yeah. Or maybe a little younger. I don't know. But there's the scene where the lady is in the white room with the white satin bed right, and right. she's on the bed and then yeah. all of a sudden the fucking beans start to come out like all these refried beans come oh, out oh I remember that, yes I yes. had nightmares of that dream yes. that for ages <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know, for me it was just adding to the whole psychedelic kind of thing I was into at the time it would have been like, cool if I was a grown up yeah. and I yeah. knew that yeah, for me it was just fine. And, and it well, was I saw really it much bad. later. I rented the DVD. Oh, you did? Yeah, and I realized it wasn't as scary as my childhood yeah. thought it was. And uh, it was actually quite a good movie. I enjoyed it quite a lot as an adult. I, well, Cape Fear to this day is one of my favorite films to this day, even though it scared the crap out of me initially. Yeah. And the remake with Robert De Niro. Fantastic. Yeah, why well, my parents thought it was appropriate to take, me, take a kid to some psychedelic movie? Yeah. I never understand. Oh, my God. That's Other than they probably just couldn't afford a babysitter, yeah. they really wanted to see it too. Yeah, uh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> uh, I remember going to uh, seeing the Pink Floyd The Wall, and I'd gone with this young lady that was going to get married the following day, and it was kind of our last outing, going out to the parkway, hanging out on the you know, cliff, you know, just smoking a little weed, talking, then we went and saw The Wall. Right on. And sit in the front row, watched it, and then, you know, came home, parted her ways, <laughs> and next thing you know, four o'clock in the morning, I'm woken with this banging on the door, 
and it's her boyfriend, her fiance, had cut his ribs. Oh no. And he was all bloody. And the next thing I knew, I was like having to, and being half drunk at the time, having to, you know, corral him into the car to take him into the emergency room. Big oh, guy, wow. big guy too. And I finally got him in the car and took him to the emergency room with him, sold him up, and he almost arrested me for public drinking. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You I took know. somebody to the hospital, they almost arrested you for public drunkenness? Yeah. Yeah. That's messed up. Yeah, back in the day. But you should have gave me an award for bringing somebody in who was trying to kill themselves. I had no choice, yeah. 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 I think they finally picked, figured that out, what was going on, and letting it go. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that was our interview. <laughs> Thank you very much for the opportunity Thank to you talk about participation. high in movies. <laughs> high ice cream in movies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hopefully that recorded.